All along, the United States is the first military power, technology is very advanced, even leading the world half a century of military technology. However, in fact, over the years, China's continuous efforts in the military has made its own comprehensive strength has improved greatly. In many of the technology has also had a very amazing breakthrough, and the United States in the military gap has gradually narrowed. In such a situation, but there is still a U.S. advanced helicopter, even in China has been placed for more than 40 years, has not been able to imitate the success, which is because of what reason this helicopter its name is called, CH-47 Chinook, helicopter. It is in 1958 by the United States of America Boeing Development. It is said that at the time of research and development came up with the program, there are 107, like this one after a thousand, selected after the design of the model. At the outset, it is very uncomplicated. In appearance, this model shows it's unusual. It is a multi-purpose medium transport helicopter with two engines and two propellers. Compared with the general helicopter, its structure is more complex, with two sets of main rotor blades can be folded. At the same time, it also does not have the tail vertical propeller that the helicopter has in the past. In terms of performance, however, it was able to raise and lower its body vertically, reach a maximum speed of 265.5 km h, carry 25,000 pounds of cargo, and accommodate more than 40 people in its large cabin. The first test flight of this model took place in 1961, after its development was completed, and it was the beginning of a new era for the aircraft. After the service of this helicopter is by virtue of the powerful carrying capacity and towing capacity in the battlefield to play a good. At the same time, not only in the transportation of combat troops and strategic supplies, it also has the ability to air howitzer. In the United States in combat it is still a very high rate of use, by virtue of its favored performance. By now it has been a transport helicopter exported to many countries. The helicopter has been exported to many countries. It is also such a monstrous helicopter, put in China for more than 40 years, but has not been imitated successfully, which is also a very easy to make people feel confused about things. In terms of the level of technology that China is able to achieve at the moment, plus the fact that there are physical references, how is it possible that there is no ability to imitate this product that was developed by the United States decades ago? How strong is it? The most impressive thing on this model of transport helicopter is that it carries two engines with an output of more than 3,000 kilowatts. In fact, the placement of two engines is not as simple as people think to free up a position. The high frequency vibration generated by the twin engines during operation will lead to resonance phenomenon, such a situation, if not handled properly, will easily lead to accidents, causing great danger. Therefore, the placement of dual engines, first of all, we must have a thorough understanding of the performance of the model itself, but also in other aspects of the structure with a reasonable design. Although in recent years, China's research and development in the engine has made great progress, but in fact, compared with the United States and these countries, there is still a big gap, and for the helicopter engine technology China has not yet conquered the lack of certain prerequisites. In addition to this model itself, the dual rotor structure makes its construction extremely complex, but because such a structure can make the helicopter itself in a special environment to easily complete the takeoff and landing. So for the double rotor structure, how to design this problem or need to think carefully, even before, in the military quite powerful Soviet Union, had developed a similar structure of the helicopter and ultimately did not manage to achieve better stability. In this matter is also enough to show that want to achieve the structure of this type of machine, set the relevant technical breakthroughs, or very difficult. And all along, the carrier helicopter is in fact China's major weakness. Although China has previously developed a large helicopter straight eight, but in fact, the development results still expose China in this regard many technical deficiencies. Finally, in addition to the difficulty of research and development is very difficult. For the development of this transport helicopter, not only to spend a lot of time, but also in the cost is very high. This type of helicopter is actually half a century ago equipment, and now China for this type of weapons and equipment demand is not high. Although the US claims that their helicopters will remain in service until 2060, the current situation shows that China is still placing more energy in the development of the aviation industry. For more advanced technological breakthroughs, as well as the research and development of stronger helicopters could be China's next goal.